everyone. Happy Sephora Play Bay Day. Jumping into last month. So last month the perfume sample was this Tory Burch um, Belle Azure. And I liked this. I thought it was fresh. It was very perfumey, but not like overpowering grandma perfumey. I used the whole sample. I don't think I would buy it. It's not really my type of scent, but I liked it enough to use it. I didn't think, you know, use it once and then think I was going to throw it away. Um, next was the Sephora Instant Moisture Cream. I liked this, although I didn't ever really know when to use it. I felt like it wasn't quite thick enough for a nighttime moisturizer, but it also was a little bit too thick for a daytime moisturizer. So I kind of switched back and forth. Um, I used it a lot on the weekends when I wasn't wearing makeup as a daytime moisturizer. Um, and I kind of liked it then. I've used it almost all up. I probably have one or two uses left. So I thought it was overall pretty good. Next was this sample of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. And I like this a lot. Um, the old formula was like my all-time favorite foundation. I think this one is slightly drier than that one was, but I still like it a lot and I will definitely continue to use that sample. Next was this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer and this was a really interesting primer. It was like a pretty good pore minimizing primer, but at the same time like illuminating a little bit, but not a lot. It was moisturizing too, which it was super weird. I, I liked it. I have used almost all of it up. And um, if I didn't have like a drawer full of primers to use up, I would actually consider this one. Although I do like some of the more silicone-y ones a little bit better that really fill in those pores. Next was this Stellar um, Cosmetic Face Powder. And I just thought this was okay. It was really, really powdery. It was kind of hard to work with. Um, wasn't like the worst powder I've ever used but it's not something I would run out and get. And some of it might just be because it's such a small little container, it was kind of hard to use. It's also a little bit weird of a shade, so it's sort of pinky. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this up or see if anybody else wants to try it as a sample. It just wasn't for me. And then the last thing was this Cover FX Custom Cover Enhancer Drops in Moonlight, and I loved this. This is like for when you want all of the highlight. It was amazing. I will definitely continue to use this. Makes me want all of the colors because I loved it. I love highlighter. It's like my all-time favorite thing. So jumping into this month's bag. So this month's bag is black and white and it says it's Mio Clock and it has a little girl doing yoga. I love it because I love yoga. Oh, I really like that. I'm gonna maybe have to use this bag as something in my yoga bag. All right, first thing is Caudalie Visiosource Serum. Oh, I've tried this before, the SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. It's been a really long time, and I don't think it's been, it was in a sample bag. I think it was like a Sephora sample or something that I got this, but I'm excited to try this again because I can't remember what I thought about it. It's been so many years since I tried it. Next is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. Ooh, that's exciting. I am ready to try a new mascara. Let's, okay, so it's like a fibery brush or a regular bristle brush. And it's semi-hourglass shaped, but not a lot. It looks a little bit goopy for my taste, but a lot of mascaras are goopy right away in the beginning, and then they kind of tone down a little bit. So I'll definitely give it a fair shot. Next is Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. Yes, I am so excited about this. I love Origins. I actually have tried this mask um, at a friend's house, but only like once or twice. So I didn't give it like a good chance. I'm pretty excited about that. Next is a Sephora Lip Gloss Ultra Shine Lip Gel in the color Perfect Nude. So it is a, the, like a pretty sheer, but the color does come off. It looks like nice and jelly, so it probably will stay on your lips pretty well. I'm excited to try that. I'm kind of getting back into lip glosses. I haven't been for a long time, and now I'm pretty excited to like try them again. Next is Moroccan Oil. Ooh, I actually have this in full size. This is so good. I'm going to save the sample because now I will have something for travel that isn't the huge bottle. 
and then also when I run out of my huge bottle I'll have this much left longer before I have to buy a new one which I always love that too. And then the last thing is the perfume sample which is my Burberry blush. Oh I've been wanting to smell this one. Oh I'm excited. Oh, it smells good. It's very like floral, but so sweet at the same time, like not floral in a gross way. So I'm excited about that. All right. That was everything that I got in this month's Sephora bag. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.